we're gonna be doing a McLaren only build battle inside of Driving Empire. We have a budget of 750,000 to spend on upgrades and the car itself. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe and drop a like in this video. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, I'm walking into the dealership right now. Let me go ahead and pick out a McLaren. Now, I already own all the cars, so that's a bit of a struggle when making these videos. But the thing is, I just subtract it from the budget. So honestly, what if we went for a cheaper McLaren so then we can max upgrade it? So take this 600 LT, for example, 220K. Honestly, what if I did this one? Hold up. It has 204 miles per hour. Let me check some other McLarens out. So Artura, 205, okay. Um, this is 201. What about this one? 212, ooh. Let's see this one, 205, okay. How about like a 765 LT? 205, oh, so you see that? For 220, 240 grand more, it's the same top speed basically, but let me see the handling. Handling 51, um, this one has handling of 38. Eh. So we might need to be a bit better about driving, but honestly, I think we're gonna go with this one. I think that's a good idea. Let's, you know what? I'm doing it. We're gonna subtract 220K from our budget. I've decided it and we are using the 600 LT. Okay, it's pretty funny we picked the 600 LT because I'm actually a miniature 600 LT right now for my avatar just for this video. I put on a little McLaren. I thought it'd be hilarious, but like it's actually quite ironic now that I have the car. So I have this car all done up and upgraded already. I wouldn't say visual upgrades would cost anything out of my budget because like it doesn't change the performance in any way in this game. So. We're just gonna go ahead and see. So we have like a pretty large budget right now. I would say like around 530K. That's how much we have left. But because we spent so little on the car, I think we can say it's safe to, you know, go ahead and keep this car maxed out. Cause I already have it maxed out from um, owning it. Obviously I would have to switch stuff around cause I did have it as a drift car. But I think it's safe to say that I'm well in budget by having this car max upgraded. So. We're just gonna say I have zero dollars left. I'm not even gonna calculate it. I might be a little bit over budget, a little bit under budget, I don't really know. But I know we are not too crazy out of the budget or under the budget because, I mean, it was like a 200K car and I'm guessing that means 500K in upgrades to max it out. So yeah, that's pretty solid, honestly. We already are done. Now we just have to wait for my friend Lewis to finish up his build and then we will uh, compare them on looks, race them, see the top speeds, all that good stuff. Lewis, are you done with your build? Yeah, I'm oh. done. Okay, then I'll uh, pull up to this uh, black brick building right next to the racing hub. I'm gonna go ahead and get my car all showed off for you, and then you're gonna pull up in yours, and then I'll see what you've chosen. So, honestly, we gotta do looks. This is my favorite category to do first, so let's see. Where are you? I don't see your car pulling in yet. Oh, is that a 765 LT? Yes, it is. That looks very nice in blue. Ooh, you know I love blue cars, so that's such a sick spec there. Wow. Okay, we got dark blue on bl dark blue calipers, black interior, you have a roadster, okay, I see you. Let me pop open those doors for you. Oh yeah, check that car out, okay, um, you have a lot of carbon options, jeez, that looks really good. Honestly, both of the cars look insanely good. Comments, you're gonna have to decide this one. Yeah. Who won on the looks category? Lewis, say what you think, and then I'll say who they, I think won on the looks. Honestly, I feel like you kinda won. I really like how, uh, how, how it looks. Honestly though, I like the 765LT's car design better, like the way that the car looks. But if we're going based off of like what we did with the cars, I feel like I did crazy. Like I got a roof scoop, yeah. carbon everywhere. I have these good looking wheels. The spec matches, like it's got calipers, interior and paint that all goes together. It looks really good. You did a really good job too though. I'm gonna say we tied on this one, but the comments can decide honestly who won this. I don't really care too much about the looks category for like comparing the cars. That's more of like thing that the comments can decide, I guess. So let's go ahead and do top speed tests. Uh, what do you think your top speed is? Let's get a prediction number in right now. I'm gonna predict um 250 for mine. What do you think yours will go? Yeah, I'll probably predict like, since it's a spider, I'll probably predict like 240. 240, okay, you think you're gonna be slower than me. This is a pretty important category in my opinion, top speed. So let's go ahead, pull onto the highway. I'm gonna test mine first and then you let me know how fast yours goes after I say my number. So I'm gonna be going, uh, ooh, this accelerates really good by the way. That's quite a good thing to have, good acceleration. Um, I'm going 244 without boost, with boost. 
273. Okay, I'm gonna pull over and you tell me now what what is yours going? Okay, so how fast are you going without boost, Lewis? 244 without boost. Okay, so that was the same as mine. Let's see with boost. How fast does it go? 273. With 273. Boost. Isn't that the exact same as mine? I think they're like exactly the same. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so mine was going exactly the same top speed as yours, Lewis. So that's kind of crazy. I guess like the McLarens have the same exact top speed. That's really interesting, but yeah. wow. Okay, um, I guess we tied on this one, so nobody gets a point. I think we're gonna have to, you know, do some different races to go ahead and like make it more fair because now we're evened out. Usually this like puts one car ahead of the other. So I think, you know what, let's add an extra race. I was gonna just do the circuit race with you. What if we do the drag race? McLarens are known for their acceleration, so why don't we take them to the drag race? Who has better acceleration? All right, we're now in the drag race. Uh, Lewis, what do, you, do you think you're gonna win this or you think I'm gonna win this? Let me know. I think I'm gonna win this. Honestly, I don't really know for this one, man, because yours is a newer car and I feel like newer cars would have better acceleration, so yeah. we can only see. Hold up, am I winning? Am I ahead on your screen? No. Okay, oh, let's see. Yeah. Yes! I won, bro, by 0.4 seconds. I'm... Let's go. So that means I get the first point since we tied with the not. other two. That's wild, bro. I thought the 765 would be better. Who would have known? Um, okay, what are we going to do next? You want to do the circuit race? Yeah. Okay, now we're on the circuit race, but here's the thing. Lewis is on mobile, so I feel like that gives me a pretty big advantage so i'm liking the sound of that you know usually i'm the one losing on the circuit race to my competitors but today i'm feeling quite confident hopefully lewis isn't like the best mobile player ever because if that was the case then um i would probably lose to him because i'm like the worst pc racer ever but i mean i am getting better at racing so you know what maybe i have a shot whoa the rear end just kind of spun out on my car yeah. i have all-wheel drive on it but it still, you know, gets a little loose in the corners, so, uh... Yeah, it sometimes does do that. That's not too good. Uh, yeah, Lewis, you're, you're kind of ahead of me right here. Um, is your 765LT, like, gripping the corners well, or is it kind of spinning out a bit like mm, my car? Well, kind of, I guess. A little. A little bit. A little? Okay, I think I've regained first place. Um, this is going to be a close race, honestly. Like, we have similar top speeds, very similar... No, same top speeds, very similar acceleration. Honestly... It just depends on if I crash or not. Um, that's the only thing that will affect this. So uh, I really want to lock in here. I mean, ooh, no, you kind of hit the wall right there. Yeah, I'm catching up. Um, I really got to try not to let this thing spin out under me. Oh man, I'm getting so close to you, but then you lose me in the straightaway. Um, come on, please let me pass you right here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm a little bit ahead. Not for long, though. I'm sure you're right behind me. Oh, dang it. And you overtake me once again. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Okay, yes, I've saved it. I believe, yeah, I have race tires on. I have everything maxed out. I installed all-wheel drive. I don't know why it slips out from under me like that. Um, I'm guessing your car has better grip than mine. That might be it. Probably. Um, I'm really hoping you just, like, crash or something so I can regain that lead again. Um, ooh. Oh, man, it got a little Maybe. slippery right there. Maybe I'll crash, maybe not. All right, I'm racing under the waterfall. I'm really trying to catch up to Lewis. I think you're probably at like 70% right now, am I correct? Yeah, you, yep. are, you are correct. Well, I'm catching up. I'm right behind you now nearly. I can just about see your car going around the turns ahead of me. I really got to try, you know, to catch up to you. I'm going full speed now, trying to really race through this. Oh, and that's it for me. I've just flipped my car. There's no shot I'm catching up to you now. Dang. Yeah. Unless like, I crash. Unless you crash, yeah, but are you like a professional racer on mobile or something? Like that I don't know about? Are you like really good at racing? Nah, I, I, I'm, I'm alright, I guess. I'm not that good at racing. Dang, guys, you heard it here first. He's not even that good at racing, but he's still beating me, so um, I don't know if I'm that good of a racer anymore. Honestly, after this race, I gotta check if this thing's still rear-wheel drive. I could have sworn I said it's all-wheel drive, so... If it's not all-wheel drive, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Um, are you at like 95% done, by the way? 97. 97, um, up. Oh, GG, I'm guessing you just won. Yeah. Yep, you've just won. That's unfortunate. Here's a pro tip for you. Use boost on the straights. Okay, so you're saying I should be using my boost on the straights. Um, okay, yeah. let me let off the boost on my turns. Um, oh, I've just hit a wall. 
Use the boost on the straights. Okay, that's the trick. So I've been using them on the turns and the straights. Dang. So you won on the circuit race, but I won yeah. on the drag race. Therefore, we tied in this video. Like, we tied on looks, we tied on top speed. We, I won on the drag race, you won on the circuit. So honestly, I could say that these cars are equal. I probably sent, spent yeah. like around 200K on uh, the car and 500K on upgrades. And you probably spent 500K on your car, 200K on upgrades. Therefore, yeah, 200K on upgrades. it evens out. So I guess yeah. um, we've determined, doesn't really matter which car you buy in this budget with McLarens. All of them are very similar with their performance based off of how much you spend. But that's gonna be everything for today's video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. I would truly appreciate it. Subscribe to the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Check out the video on screen here. YouTube thinks you'll like it, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.